Hello, I'm Joseph Vargo with SimplyMac.com, your premier Apple specialist. We have our headquarters in Salt Lake City, Utah with eight retail locations in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. I'm going to show you how to make Amazon recognize your Kindle app on the iPad. We need to go to the Kindle app first. If you haven't downloaded it, you can download it at the App Store right here. Uh, but I've got the Kindle app already downloaded. We can open up the Kindle app. This is it right there. And then uh, it's going to ask you or prompt you to log in the first time you open it. But if someone else is logged in or they're already in it, if you click on this little I here in the corner, um, it's going to give you more information. And one of those is settings. And you can see that I'm typed in here in my Kindle, Kindle app and it remembers who I am. Once you do that, it will remember who you are. So you go into settings and then it says it's registered to me. And I can deregister, which is what you'd have to tap on to remove whoever had logged in before. And then after that, it will let you put your own registration information in, uh, your username and password from Kindle. So uh, you have some other options you can change, like animations and highlights, things like that. OK, so how you get all of your Kindle books you've already bought on your iPad, if you had a Kindle before, is you're gonna, you sign in. And that works because you have an account with Amazon and Kindle. And they know what books you've already downloaded, what books you've already paid for. And those books will be added to this uh, iPad or downloaded to the iPad once you go ahead and sign in. Um, since you're in that network, it knows what you've already done and will we'll add them automatically. Again, I'm Joseph Vargo with SimplyMac.com, and I showed you how to get Amazon to recognize your Kindle app on the iPad.